Please be seated. Welcome to a non-traditional JCIB graduation, a moment we never expected to be like this. But I can speak for some people, at least it's not a drive through and at least it's a graduation. I began thinking about the meaning of graduation. It is an event that marks the end of our high school story and entails a new beginning of our adulthood lives. But I remembered another crucial part. It is something that is not only celebrated with the people we love most, our family, but it's something celebrated with the people who were alongside us throughout this entire journey. It's the people who we have made so many memories with and created an everlasting bond with. Thankfully, we are able to share this one last moment today, reunited as one class. You all deserve this moment to acknowledge your dedication, hard work, and perseverance. And let's not forget those nights procrastinating and stressing out because all of that brought you here in your blue and gold robes, able to say you went through a program that many others would refuse to do. We did it. To the families, thank you for seeing the potential within us and pushing us beyond our limits. To the teachers and administrators, we thank you for your patience. We know we were quite a handful, but we appreciate everything you have done in order to see us succeed. And finally, to the class of 2020. Thank you for making IB so much more tolerable, for making it fun and memorable. I can't imagine any better people to share this opportunity with than you all today. So without further ado, I gladly, but also sadly, welcome you all to the JCIB class of 2020 graduation social distancing edition. Thank you. We stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Hello all. <laughs> um, this is much a much different setup than I imagined, so I'm not sure. Do they have a do they see me on that side? Okay. So as we all know, and as Maya so eloquently stated, this is definitely much different um, than all the other graduation ceremonies before us. And we've definitely had a lot of time to spend at home to just think about everything that's going on. And um, during that time, I used it um, to pick up some other hobbies. And um, I looked up a lot of different ways to deal with like the stress and anxiety that a lot of us are most likely experiencing due to the coronavirus and then the most recent um, political issues that are being, that are coming up. Um, so, one of the things that I found to help cope with that is to do like a gratitude list. And I decided to incorporate that into my speech since it's supposed to be inspirational. So, I am grateful that we get to have a somewhat traditional ceremony and that we are able to celebrate each other as we are called to receive our diplomas as opposed to the initial drive-in plan. Um, even still, as I stand before you today, I can only think that none of us imagined that it would be like this. I don't even think the Simpsons predicted it. No one thought that our four long years of hard work and dedication at IB would end like this. We sit here on the cusp of freedom, getting ready to embark on the next chapter of our lives and getting caught up on the fact that our graduation is unlike any others before us will only hold us back. I am grateful that I have had the privilege of working alongside each of you 
to earn our right to walk across this stage. And I feel honored that we all share the same ideals and open-mindedness when it comes to standing up for justice. I have faith that our IB learning has taught us all how to recognize what is right, especially when everything around us seems so wrong. I admire our resilience and our great adaptability. When this world full of constant changes hurls disruptions at us, we stand firm and we adapt, as can be seen with this graduation ceremony. We have experienced so much together, and we have seen so many of our peers walk away from their chance to earn an IB diploma. Yet you, my classmates, have made it. Through thick and thin, you have made it through IB, and I am so very proud of you. I am grateful for the amazing teachers that have taught us everything we know and worked hard to try to make this as good for us as possible. Teachers probably have one of the most underrated, underappreciated, and underpaid jobs in this country. I know I speak for all of us when I say that we have learned a lot from you. Not only valuable academics, but valuable life lessons. You truly are the support system of our school. I know that many of us students have gone to teachers with problems or concerns or even just to rant to them about how we are feeling and you have never turned us down or turned us away in times when we needed you most. I know for certain that I wouldn't have made it through IB without your support and your encouragement. Finally, I am grateful that our graduation is being celebrated by people all around the world. I can't think of any other class that has been cheered on by Oprah, Obama, and countless other celebrities. We have the world's attention. I have watched each and every one of you develop into the wonderful, intelligent, determined, and outstanding people that you are today. I know right now this all seems so unfair, but when we look back on this, we will see and appreciate how this shared experience has made us into better and stronger people. We will forever bear the title of the class that was quarantined for the latter half of their senior year. We will be admired for our perseverance and our hardiness in this time of global confusion. In a time where it is so easy to sit at home and sink deep into a hole of darkness and despair, we will continue to march forward into the next chapter of our lives, demanding change, demanding justice, demanding that the right thing be done, always. We hold the torch. We lead the way. We are the class of 2020. Thank you. Good afternoon. It is my pleasure to say that our guest this afternoon will be the superintendent of the Jefferson County Board of Education, Dr. Walter Gosselin. So may I ask for us to give a moment of appreciation to him for coming out today? <laughs> Dr. Gosselin. Thank you. We know the rain is coming, so we're going to go quickly and get these students across the stage. That's something you've been wanting to see for some time, I'm sure. I'm going to go to the last paragraph of my beautiful speech. I had an analogy about a tree, and you'll just have to believe me when I say it was outstanding. <laughs> I have always loved trees, though, as a child. And when I arrived at JCID, I was so pleased to learn that we are trees. It's a great day to be a tree is a phrase that you often hear if you're part of this JCIB family, and I love the uniqueness of that, and I believe it suits our students beautifully. I believe it because trees are one of the best analogies that you can find when considering what it takes to achieve a successful life. Trees need roots, and our children need roots, and you are the roots for these children. You're what anchors and attaches them. You're what gives them strength. And you'll continue to do that long after they leave your home and go off into the world. 
The trunk of a tree to me represents growth and strength, and with each passing year, a new ring of life experience is added. These rings will provide strength and support for future endeavors, but they will also hold the memories of your past experiences that continuously shape who you become, what you believe, and what you stand for in our world. You'll find solid strength in a tree trunk that sways in a storm but doesn't break. You'll encounter storms in your life, but with a strong support system of loved ones, knowing who you are, what you believe, where you're going in this life, you may sway, but you'll remain standing as each challenge passes. I believe without a doubt that you have been well prepared for this new journey into adulthood and independence. I want you all to remember that even the most majestic trees grow to soaring heights because of a strong foundation, the ability to bend and not break, and the ability to adapt to the inevitable changes life will bring. Thank you. First, let's take a breath through our mask and enjoy this moment. We made it. We made it together. When I'm being a good IB student and reflect back on my time at JCIB, I can't help but think of all my classmates. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for all of you. I don't think any of us would be here if it wasn't for each other. There were many nights I didn't think I'd be walking across this stage, but here we are. In recent weeks, we have all heard the same few sayings. I don't want to say anything super cheesy or cliche, so I'll just try to get all of these out of the way now. We were born in the wake of one of the biggest tragedies in our nation's history after the terrorist attacks of September 11th. We grew up in a changing world as the internet computers grew up alongside us. We are now graduating in the midst of a worldwide pandemic. I promised myself I wouldn't harp on any of these too much. I'm not the most qualified student to be up here. I'm not as smart as Trinity, or as eloquent a speaker as Sierra, or as funny as Jeffrey. I could go all day just complimenting my classmates, but that's Dr. Miller's job. She can do way better than I could anyways. But for some reason, I find myself up here. I guess since I'm up here, I might as well convey the JCIB Class of 2020 high school experience through a series of anecdotes from the past four years. This is supposed to be a commencement speech, and since commencement means beginning or start, I looked it up to make sure. I might as well go back to the summer before freshman year. It's the summer of 2016, the summer of Pokemon Go. Bright-eyed little eighth graders walked into the tunnel of Shades Valley for freshman orientation. And then quickly realized this is not where we were supposed to be, and were promptly escorted over to the IB building on the other side of campus. A few greetings and Still City Pops later is the night before our first day of freshman year. I've talked to many of you, and that was a very long and emotional night. There were many tears shed, and all of us were wondering, what if I'm not ready for high school? What if I don't make any friends? What if I'm not smart enough to go to JCIB? Many excruciating hours later, we were all finally in our homerooms. In my homeroom, Ms. Watts walked out of the room and a tense silence filled the air. Then suddenly, a curly-haired guy stands up and says, so I'm James Goodman. I think most of us were pleasantly surprised by how easy it was to make friends and that we didn't get assigned as much homework as they told us we would. Then about three weeks into school, it's quickly turned into, I was, it was already four in the morning, not even started on my science fair board yet, and I have to read the last hundred pages of this book by tomorrow. And let's not even mention our first grade-wide meeting. Also, sometimes towards the end of the freshman year was when we learned that we had been at the school for almost a year and just then realized that our mascot was a tree, not just any tree, the tree of knowledge. Speaking of, it's a great day. <laughs> Sophomore year began, and we got to try this new and fun middle years activity, also known as the personal project. That year flew by with talk of sock companies, even though I think only about five pairs of socks were made. <laughs> but, uh, blacksmithing, songs, dances, photo albums, cookbooks, and most importantly, the creation of the Birmingham Youth Action Committee. 
Sophomore year also consisted of numerous complaints of girls getting dress coded, which usually was followed by the comment, his American flag shorts are much shorter than my dress, why doesn't he get dress coded? <laughs> and you also can't forget the pep rally where clouds of baby powder ran through the skies. Then junior year started. Being in the diploma program was definitely an adjustment. We had to figure out how to get 24 points, what EE subject to pick, being confused on who CAS was, and what the difference between HLs and SLs. Once we got that figured out, we had to explain it to our parents, and then explain it again, and again, and again. At the end of the year, we got to take our first IB exams. Little did we know those would be the only ones we took. But from what I've heard, most of us aren't that upset about it. <laughs> then we were in senior year. To describe probably the most important part of senior year, I want to tell a metaphorical story by Lance Jabber. Let's say you're a single guy and you decide it's time to get married. But you're still young and you don't want to rush into anything, so you spend years searching for the perfect girl. Every chance you get, you travel all over the state and country just to meet new people. Some you like more than others. Some are too nerdy, some party too much. But finally, after all this, you're searching, you think you found the perfect one. Oh, she's incredible. She's fun, smart, beautiful, everything you wanted in a woman. You decide to propose, but you only get one shot. You don't want to screw it up. You spend months agonizing how you're going to do it and what you're going to say to her. You set a deadline for yourself, so you can't keep putting it off forever. As the deadline approaches, you begin to get more nervous. Are you good enough? Oh, it feels like everything you've done in your entire life has been leading up to this moment. Finally, the deadline is here. You're so nervous. She's way out of your league. Is the ring too big? How many mistakes have you made so far? Is it too late to go back? And then it's over. You submit your proposal and there's nothing more you can do. And then she looks at you and she says, hmm, let me get back to you in like four months. That's pretty much what applying to college feels like. And you know what? She'll probably say no. But guess what you didn't tell her? You propose to a bunch of backup chicks just in case she rejects you and they're all begging you to come marry them instead. I wish I had more time to tell the numerous experiences and stories that we all share. But we can save those for our reunion. We are living in this new COVID-19 world. Times are changing. And when the global community beats this pandemic, the world will not be the same as it was before March 2020. Despite these changes, I know it's time. I know our time at JCIB has prepared us to be leaders in this new world. We have gained skills and traits that allow us to prepare and overcome present and future crises. JCIB has taught, has taught us to be inquiring, open-minded, caring, principled, risk-taking, balanced, knowledgeable, thoughtful, commutative, and reflective students and citizens in our world community. These attributes have been built through the relationships that were created during our time at JCIB. Now, we all, now all we have to do is use them. Each and every one of you leave here with the duty to take things that you have learned and make the world a better place than you found it. Thank you. This has been quite the graduation experience. We want to make sure that we get all of our students recognized. So we will be going through. I will say their name. I will read one of their wonderful attributes and accomplishments. And then I will tell you where they're going to school. And they will get a picture taken at the flag. So please join me in celebrating this class of the unexpected. Abdul Malik Arafai, inducted into the National Honor Society 
and challenged his brain, Auburn University. Aaliyah Arnold, student leader for the No Barriers Project, University of Southern Mississippi. Webb Baker, achieved the rank of Eagle Scout, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Marcos Joel Bermudez, Shades Valley soccer team varsity, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Isaiah Carly, Carley Bishop, National Honor Society, Spanish Honor Society, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Sierra Josephine Bugai, Youth Philanthropy Council and YWCA Social Justice Intern, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Rebecca Cahill, Entertainment Director for the International Festival. University of Tennessee at Chattanooga. Kayla Carmichael, inducted into five honor societies, Xavier University, New Orleans. Albert Munene Chegg, 2019 Boys and Girls Club of Central Alabama Youth of the Year, University of Alabama at Huntsville. Austin Andrew Cox, MYP personal project hanging in both campuses of the Learner Profile Tree, Birmingham Southern College. Crystal Joyce Ford, National Honor Society and Freshman Mentor, Spelman College. Gabby Frazier, Speak First team member for three years. University of Alabama at Birmingham. Lizzie Frolov, member of Birmingham Youth Action Committee, University of Alabama. Zoe Grace Gooden, National Honor Society and German Honor Society, University of Alabama at Birmingham. James Jordan Goodman, founder Birmingham Youth Action Committee, Youth Led and Youth Run 501C3, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Morgan Janae Gregg, Freshman Mentor, University of Alabama. Caden Greider, Questbridge Scholar, Wesleyan University. Jessica Chantel Halsey, Philosophy IA and the EE, Tuskegee University. Charles Chaz William Hart, Bowling Team and Eagle Scout, Auburn University. Haley Alexa Hevner, published a book of poetry titled Serendipity. She'll major in biology. Nicholas Ian Heiser, 2018 Mountie of the Year for Soccer, University of Alabama. Angela Lynn Hill, clarinet section leader for the band, University of Alabama. Caleb David Hill, four-year soccer player, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Amaya Nicole Hines, Vice President of her high school sorority, Tuskegee University. Shamar Hopkins, Bowling Team, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Cade Hulsey, featured multiple times in Counterpain, School of the Art Institute, Chicago. Desmond Dewan Jemison, varsity soccer for three years, University of South Alabama. Maya Alexandria Johnson, girls bowling team, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Trinity Johnson, 
the senior skit and self-studying BC Calc, Duke University. Amaya, Amaya Caitlin Johnston, Spanish Club and Corporate Internships, Agnes Scott College. Viraj Puri Kakar, Stamps Presidential and Gold Scholar, Georgia Institute of Technology. Anna Kulchiska, fe featured on Ms. Mock's baking show, Bake and Wake for Banana Bread. University of Notre Dame, or Notre Dame. Dylan Nicole Kyle, internships with an optometrist and orthodontist, Birmingham Southern College. Antoine Blaise Lamar, personal growth while at JCIB, University of Alabama at Huntsville. Stephanie Lynn, the Shades Valley Band flute section leader for three years. Purdue University. Jeffrey Andrew Martin, earning the IB Learner Profile Award, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Israel Mason, published book, Hard Times and Fine Lines, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Cole McKee, presented an app to Congress members and military officers in Washington, D.C., United States Military Academy at West Point. <laughs> Vanessa Jerry Juguna, president and class president, Auburn University. Sarah Nolan, 2019 Shades Valley Volleyball Defensive Player of the Year, University of Alabama of Alabama at Huntsville, excuse me. Micaiah Denise Paget, recognized for having one of the highest averages in her favorite class of history in 11th grade, University of North Alabama. Anakit Pant, represented Alabama at Intel Science Fair and presented research on developing better nanoparticles, Georgia Institute of Technology. Ivan Papura, International Internship with Erste Bank in Croatia, 2019-2020, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Thomas Brandon Petty, surviving IB's senior year or what was left of it. And he's the croc guy, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Caitlin Celeste Pruitt, being pushed so hard in school, she started a book club, University of Alabama. Adasia Ragland Hurst worked to help others whenever possible, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Lauren Ashley Rizzo, member of multiple honor societies and the softball team, Auburn University. Ariana Danielle Robinson, cheerleader for three years. Alabama State University. Aubriana Marche Rutledge, National Honor Society, Northeastern University. Isaiah Christian Rutledge, Spanish National Honor Society, University of Alabama. Demisha Nichelle Samuel, Treasurer for Beta Club, Oglethorpe University. David Shackelford, work study at Irondale Middle School, helping younger students with band and music, Tennessee State University. Kennedy Elise Shaw, National Youth Leadership Forum in Medicine, Widener University. Devin Tyler Sherman offered D1 scholarships for college volleyball, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Chris Smith, work study at the Birmingham Museum of Art, Tulane University. James Harrison Stewart, member for Birmingham Youth Action, 
University of Alabama. Michael Nathaniel Stewart, Jr. Varsity baseball team with playoffs every year, University of Alabama. Gwendolyn Elizabeth Taylor, five years varsity soccer team member, captain for one, Tennessee State University. Levi Thomas Taylor, writing his EE on about a topic he really enjoyed, Auburn University. Jaron Thomas, four years! Earned a qualifying score on the AP Human Geo exam, Auburn University. Vanessa Trejo, bowling team, and National Honor Society, Samford University. Jaquela Nicole Turner, National Honor Society and Beta Club, Alabama State University. Daryl Keith Van Zant II, Shades Valley Engineering Academy student, University of Alabama at Birmingham. Brian Christopher Watts, President of Troop 398 Thespian Society, University of Alabama. Lonnie Alfonso Webb, attended MIT's summer program, Georgia Institute of Technology. Aaliyah Williams, Animator and Head of Marketing for the Engineering Academy, Auburn University. Royce Amani Williams, member of the National Honor Society, tuba for four years, Auburn University. Roderick Taylor Wilson, National Honor Society parliamentarian, University of Alabama in Huntsville. Anna Catherine Woodall, 2019 Jefferson County Doubles Tennis Champion, University of Alabama. Seniors, prepare, denote. I present to you the 2020 graduating class of the Jefferson County International Baccalaureate School. To, if you noticed on the back of your um, program, we're going to let you go to the car, get in the car, come down by 
the field house and we'll have the students waiting there to get into the car for you at that time. So if you will make your way, keeping that social distancing in mind, please, to the cars. And we thank you so much for joining us for this.